Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Nuclear Throne. It's me, Rika, and Nathan. Hey! And also and Booms. Booms. Booms, too. Today, we're going we're gonna to show you guys how to unlock Plant and his bee skin in Nuclear Throne. Sounds amazing. How do you unlock Plant's bee skin? Well, first, we're going to unlock Plant. And now you got to, all you have to do for that is reach the scrapyard. That's the third level of the game. You got to beat Big Bandit. You got to beat the sewers. You got to change your crosshair. No, you don't have to do that. But, <laughs> but it's in the hair. And this is my, of course, sped up run. Uh, this is the first run that I played since the release. And yeah, all you have to do is reach the scrapyard. And then once you unlock Plant, uh, you just have to do a speed run with Plant to defeat the nuclear throne in under 10 minutes. So I'll show you that after we unlock Plant. That doesn't sound too bad. I just asked about the B skin first because, you know, it's. Getting plant is like the entree, and then the bee skin is the dessert, you know? So <laughs> I like to have dessert first once in a while, that's why I ask. <laughs> well, you have to unlock them before you get the bee skin, unfortunately. <laughs> I know dessert is awesome, though. And this is a specially sweet dessert, because it's like, as uh, you'll see, it's based off of a character, a popular video game character. The bee skin is like a nod to that. So it's pretty oh, cool. exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Speaking of speed, when you, <laughs> when you get fish's thrown butt, you can just sail around the sewers with water <laughs> shooting out of your ass. It and looks awesome <laughs> with sped up gameplay too. I know, right? It's just so cool. It's one of my favorite mutations. It's especially good with Gamma Guts because you can just like bounce off the walls and hit people and blow people up. Does it make it funnier if you, when you do the fish special, you just make fart noises with your mouth <laughs> while you go along? I imagine that would be funnier. So here we are in the scrapyard and we've unlocked plant. So then uh, as you continue your game, if you beat the game or die, you unlock plant officially. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Okay, so here the, so I'm just gonna tell you guys, the speed run is hard. You have to do it in under 10 minutes and you will die several times. You have to do it with plant. And you're just gonna die, man. That's just nuclear throne. Like you can't <laughs> you're just gonna perish in terrible ways that and you're gonna hate yourself and you're gonna get frustrated because oh, you'll get sure. shot from behind and you'll get oh. lasers everywhere and you'll get a crazy crystal uh, spider uh, uh. <laughs> and even <laughs> big bandit just... will shoot you point blank <laughs> it's just but here's oh. the run this is this is the run here this is and the one eventually you have to keep on trying never give up never surrender and you can do it oh my god spoiler alert i i did it there was some ups there's some downs i'm sharing the whole run with you right now the speed run starts now and here's the first thing you got to do you have to do that oasis skip you don't kill anybody, you just grab all three pickups, that's the rad canister, the ammo can the ammo chest, and the weapon chest, and that has Big Bandit show up, and then you gotta kill Big Bandit really fast, and then when you kill him fast, it unlocks the oasis, and you jump in the portal, and now you're in the oasis. Does this, is it actually required, or is it just like, recommended? It's not required, did I say required? But I, I meant like, I, I it might be practically required because it skips so many levels. I'm already at three three here with Big Dog. You yeah. know, like you skip all three levels of the, of the desert. You skip the uh, sewers. So it might not be required, but it like certainly helps a lot. We're not even a minute in, and we're already to three three. Yeah. So the handy dandy uh, timer in the in the bottom right actually is in Nuclear Throne. You can go into the game settings and turn that on. It'll help you know like if you're just not not fast enough. You know, because you gotta yeah, go fast. Yeah, that's nice. I like timers. Sonic the Hedgehog style. Yeah, exactly. We must embrace fear and burn it as fuel for our journey. <laughs> yes, most eloquently put. <laughs> also, you have to get all of the Chaos Emeralds. That is yes, also required. Yes, make sure to do all that little, remember that half pipe thing in Sonic 2? You have yeah, to do you that. Yeah, you half pipe. You gotta yeah. make sure you do all those and get every emerald. <laughs> yeah, we're here Ricka, some... you were about to say something and I interrupted you. I'm sorry. What's oh, going on? No worries. I think it's just that uh, I was just going to uh, clarify about the timer that every time you're loading, the game actually will pause the timer. So it's nice. It's not like your computer is going to make you go any slower in the run, you know? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So you'll see each level that I pass. It'll just it'll pause. That's smart. If, you're, if your sister gets attacked by some sort of rabid dog, you can pause the game <laughs> and continue your speed run later. Your speed run will not suffer. Just hit the pause button and you'll be fine. Go save your sister, damn it. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> I know. They really, 
They really thought about any rabid dog attacks <laughs> during yeah. the development of this game. It really just shows that they're such such great guys, but they really care, you know? They're yeah. some of the best developers out there. I'm I'm certain <laughs> that Rami thought of that when he was developing the game. <laughs> it's just like dogs, we can't have it. We just can't have it. <laughs> So this is uh, some cool stuff that happens in this front. I mean, I just kind of get lucky. Like the mutations that I get, Gamma Guts is helping you a lot because you don't have to worry about shooting every enemy. You can just run into people, especially when you get to the labs. Uh, remember to use your snare there. You're shooting up. Uh, that's plant's ability besides going really fast. You can slow other enemies down. Be sure to use that a lot. Helpful with bosses. It works on bosses. I need um, to learn to use that so much more. Ooh, yeah. minigun. Make sure you get the minigun if you can. <laughs> that, always, <laughs> that always helps. Um, accuracy mute helps as well. Yeah, there you go. Because the minigun is a nightmare for accuracy. I, I've, I've kind of figured out, like, my most successful runs are if I have two weapons where one weapon can handle lots of dudes at once and one weapon does, like, a lot of damage to one target. So this one, like, the minigun can wipe out all the little dudes because you can just kind of spray and pray. You don't have to be super accurate. And then the uh, assault slugger that I have on my back there, you can switch and target the the enemies that have more HP and knock them out faster. So, yeah, that's either that yeah. I feel like it works, or you get like a long range and a short range weapon. Those are my most successful runs when I have like weapons that are like that. So I always just go for YB thrown butt heavy crossbow uh, trigger fingers. And oh then my you just god, murder <laughs> dude, Jesus Christ, YV thrown butt heavy revolver. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. That does sound fun. <laughs> like that some... or heavy assault rifle. Oh my god. <laughs> shooting giant bullets. Here's another idea. Yeah. Here's another thing that I thought of. Uh, with the, the throne statue here that you can activate by, you know, it sucks up all the rads. Uh, that will let you end that level right away. 5-2 Ooh. can just be done when you just jump in that um, uh, the crown vault here. Because you don't need to grab a crown. You can just choose no crown and it doesn't impact your run. And you've actually skipped 5-2, half of it at least. So I'm already, I'm already on to 5-3 and I just reached four minutes. So I've got wow. lots of time left. That's process. It's crazy that you only have three mutations, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. That's the gamble. Like, you, in skipping levels like yeah. that, you don't get the rads, so... And here's this little hunter. This little hunter. He's such a pain in the ass. My fucking neighbor. He's like... He's like... <laughs> I the, hate him. He's like the biggest... Um... Freaking like heal i don't know he just he's always like he's a hurdle i always have to like but for some yeah. reason i did okay in this run so he probably ends like most of my runs he does he's just like this i get nervous and i'm just like oh shit a little hunter. Yeah. he seriously is the bane of my fucking existence in this game <laughs> yeah he seriously little out. fighting little hunter to me is like the equivalent of putting one hand over my eyes and then the other hand fires the gun like no 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 <laughs> Oh god, oh god, you just stand there freaking out. So, I mean, I guess the only advice I can have is breathe down, try to get your, your composure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. <laughs> so just take it easy, take a deep breath. <laughs> if you need to collect yourself before the fight, I sometimes just pause the game and, you know, just like relax for a minute. Yeah, just pause the game, like read an entire peaceful book. <laughs> yeah, <Maybe. laughs> and then go, go have on a you, drink. Look up like an ASMR yeah. video or like a uh, just like a calming uh, yeah <laughs> waterfall or something, and just like collect uh -huh. yourself, just zen out for a moment, and then come back to the game and just you know kick little Hunter in the teeth. Mm -hmm. I did not realize that the freaking assault slugger was that badass. Oh, it's awesome, man! It just takes down those those robots in one volley each. That's and, amazing. Uh, it's even good for stuff like the throne, the throne two, like some of the, anybody who has a bunch of freaking uh, HP, you can just take them down relatively quickly. I feel like that would be amazing for um, little Hunter with shotgun shoulders. That also too, yeah, it's because he's like, you know, jumping around all over the place. You just fire some off in his direction and you'll most likely hit him. Um, this this one I had to be careful in the in the labs here because those are like, like right there with the explosion guys, those exploding dudes, if you hit them with, uh, Gamma guts, they're just gonna kill you instantly. So you just have to make sure to spray ahead of yourself a little bit. And they're so dang fast. There are also some run enders, like they just turn the corner and run into you and explode horribly. 
<laughs> then you got the big muscly brutes. Yeah, the muscly guys are usually not a problem. Um, those damn necromancers bring those freaking fish back, though. That kind of sucks sometimes. But with Gamma Guts, the fish just run into you and you're totally fine. Yeah, I was just thinking how like great of a pickup that is. Yeah, it just helped with my run totally because you're just you're having to play defense majorly if you don't have the Gamma Guts mutation. Mm -hmm. Of course, you always want bloodlust. I always freaking pick oh, bloodlust. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. That's that's so much survivability. It's not always dependable, but you know it's better to have it and than not to have it. And hope. <laughs> you have it and have hope. It, have it and hope. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. Yeah. So this is where it gets a little crazy. Luckily, I'm only at seven minutes, um, so it's not like I can take it too easy. But you do, you know, you don't have to rush and run yourself into one of those orbs. <laughs> Yeah. Especially with the assault slugger. But these huge dudes are like another bane of my existence when they start jumping oh, towards oh, me. Oh, I hate them. Nuclear dogs. <laughs> the nuclear dogs, yeah. yeah. Those damn nuclear dogs. You know, really... those and the fucking green rats in the sewer, if you hesitate, they start charging around and shit. <laughs> I've been killed by so many of those. It just makes you cry. A little bit. You're freaking... Your like little picture like of the levels looks so funny. It's like zigzagging everywhere. We skipped. <laughs> we skipped so many levels with it. It's so awesome. Um, another cool thing about Gamma Guts is those IDPD dudes. When they show up, you can just stand on top of their portal spawn, and as soon as they enter the level, they'll die. <laughs> really? So, really? Yeah. If you saw like what I did, I just stood on top of the little like portal zone thing as it's building up, and as soon as they entered, they just go bam and like bounce off <laughs> the walls dead. And that's just that's Gamma so Guts. Cool. It's just Gamma Guts. Yeah, you just stand that's... over top of it. Man. This also helps if you have a nuke launcher. This will help you. <laughs> nuke launcher is like one of the best things to fight the throne with because the throne is so big and the, the bullets or the missiles are so big. Just to make sure you don't loop it back around at yourself like that almost <laughs> happened. Do those things home? They home to your cursor, yeah. So as long, you got to keep it pointed towards your enemy or else it's going to come back at you. Oh, frig. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. It's kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, this sucks too when you're looking for the last enemy like that. It's just RNG. Like, you, you just kind of have to get lucky with where people are spawned and stuff. Okay. Oh, and then energy screwdriver, major pickup. Let's yeah, see. major pickup, right? I just kind of <laughs> left it there. <laughs> Screw it. I got an assault slugger and the nuke launcher. Just some stuff that puts out massive damage is what you oh want. Oh my god, dude. Ricka, you're coming down on time now. I know, and check this out. I thought I activated the throne already, so I freaking sit here for too long thinking like, wait a minute, why hasn't he started yet? Oh, it's because no. I didn't shoot him. You have to shoot him. Don't do what I did, man. Don't stand here for this long. Oh my god, you have to start. this time. I have literally less than a minute to do this now. You have to start. <laughs> I know, I shot it. The <laughs> fucking suspense is killing me right now. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it nuts? So you have to wait for that thing to fire up and get all colorful. Then you shoot it, the little skeleton on the throne dies, and then he starts. You can't damage him until his little picture shows up if you have the pictures enabled. Don't do what I did there too and almost kill yourself oh with the nuke. I'm just picturing you like spam clicking the key like oh. right now just trying to kill as fast as you can. I was doing it as fast as I can because you have to wait for that thing to lose and then you have to run right for the throne because the timer doesn't start until you sit down. Oh, damn. So there it is. <laughs> 9.29. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you only have to beat the nuclear throne or you have to loop? You just have to beat it. Yeah, I don't actually, I think you can't loop. I think you have to beat it because the, the thing on the, uh, the character select screen says, like, defeat the nuclear throne in 10 minutes or less. So actually, I don't know. Now that I think about it, defeating it might also, you know, because you still have to blow it up to loop. So it might still count. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, so, dude. That uh, gave me a fucking panic attack. <laughs> really, right? So I just skipped through the credits because I was like, I, I don't know. I, I didn't say I unlocked it yet. So this is the ending cinematic spoilers if you haven't seen it. Um, when you beat the throne and not loop. But to, and to me, like looping takes longer because you have to blow up all those generators and take the time to do that. So uh, this is just a quicker way, in my opinion. Once you beat the game, though, there it is. Plant B unlocked. <laughs> and he's the co Wait, who is that? He's. It's based on Sonic the Hedgehog. Is it Whoa, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see the red feet and then the blue uh, flowers, like his spikes? Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's freaking sweet. Uh, Fish just exploded yeah, for some yeah, reason. You're going to show it off? Oh, it is. I it see is. it. Isn't that sweet? That is cool. So it's like, got to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> you're, and you're Sanic. You're Sanic. So funny. <laughs> Your freaking plant Sanic. Plantic. Yeah, it's awesome. Plantic. <laughs> so that's it. That's how you get the bee skin. Um, the, I mean, on paper, it's pretty straightforward, but the, a lot has to go right for it to work. Yeah. Or you just have to be really good. <laughs> yeah, right. Make sure you photosynthesize. <laughs> that's a passive, so you don't actually have to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, man, now you can play as Sanic the Plant Hog. Plant Hog, Sanic the Plant Hog. <laughs> oh, there it is. That's that's the name for it. That's the one. Plant Hog, Sonic the Plant Hog, <laughs> or Sanic the that's Plant right. Hog, whichever you prefer. Sanic. I like Sanic because then you know, I just picture that picture from the internet that's like gotta go fast, <laughs> gotta go fast. <laughs> Derpy face, <laughs> like Sonic the Hedgehog ripoff. So good. Oh man. All right. Plant bee skin. So there you have it. Make sure to do all the things, if not more. You know, you learn from my mistakes too. Don't just stand there. Oh my god, <laughs> that fucking gave me an anxiety attack. Like that was funny. <laughs> Go! I'm like, I'm gonna, oh, you're running I... out of fucking time, man. You have to do this. Yeah. You were totally right too, Nathan. I was just spamming it yeah. as fast as it would go. <laughs> just like, ah, ah. <laughs> like going. So. That's awesome. All you All have right, to do is beat it. Yeah, that's it. I think it's a lot faster than doing the loop. Um, it just it works out better. Mm -hmm. Right on. So yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for uh, yeah checking out my speed run. Do so, feel free to comment and tell me how bad it was and how I could have done so much better. Than <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Leave a like if you liked it. See you around. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.